Have you ever occupied a space where you didn't feel like your authentic self? It could be publicly shared places such as school, work, church, mall, etc. Some of these places can give an illusion of a warm welcome while projecting their own standards and values of the kind of people that are allowed to occupy those spaces. A few months ago, my friend Aaron and I were going to meet up with a mutual friend, Kristen, at a bar to hang out. Aaron and I are both black, and Kristen is a biracial Mexican white passing woman. While walking towards the entrance, I got a text from Kristen saying she was waiting inside. When Aaron and I reached the door, the bouncer told us there was a cover charge. Since we didn't have cash, we decided to walk away. I texted Kristen telling her what happened, telling her we couldn't pay for the cover charge. Kristen didn't know there was a cover charge because her white passing appearance allowed her to walk in. Because of this, Aaron and I felt alienated and frustrated, but I couldn't stop questioning whether or not the bouncer's refusal to let us in was racially motivated seeing that he was a white man. If Aaron and I were white or white passing, would we have been able to walk into the bar as freely as Kristen did? How do I explain my existence or wanting to be in a space to somebody who doesn't have to explain theirs? Everyone exists differently because of their accessibility to certain spaces based on how the environment identifies them. In order for anyone to feel and express their true essence, they need a safe and comfortable space free from judgment and discrimination that gives them permission to be their authentic self. I created the Pigment Series, which is a collection of mixed media artwork that consists of semi-nude photography and body painting. The series involved over 50 people, some who were musically and visually talented artists, and others were either schoolmates or friends in Charleston, South Carolina. Each portrait captures the true essence of a person and their existence. I wanted to capture a wide range of people from different racial backgrounds and experiences. When a person asks to, to participate in the pigment series, they have to come to terms with two things. One, are you comfortable being nude? Two, are you comfortable being vulnerable, not only with me, but with yourself? Most of my subjects were comfortable being nude, but not everybody was comfortable being exposed or vulnerable. There's a difference between both words based on context and intention. Both words have a similar meaning about revealing or uncovering something, but one focuses on the physical reveal, while the other focuses on making something visible. Both words played an important role in the series. The nude part is obvious from my portraits. You may think the exposed part is physically nude as well, but to expose is to reveal the true nature of something or someone. Human complexity is the centerpiece to the pigment series because it involves people and who they are. I learned so much from each of my subjects and who they became during that time. I learned that everyone's past experiences and personal stories are unique and different. Jordan and I used to work at a mall together. We used to talk about our body image and shared our similar experiences with being a little bit bigger than our sisters. When the series started gaining attention, Jordan wanted to, to, wanted to participate in the series, but was internally conflicted with her body image. She hesitated for a while until she built up enough courage to be a part of the series. Craig was the first white African I ever met. We were in the same photography program and had a few classes together. During his painting session, we talked about his perspective on living in the US versus back home. Craig was well aware of his existence as a white man living in both countries. He used his existence as an artist to get other people to be conscious about their own existence. My interpretation of human complexity is the relationship between the essence of a person and how the environment responds to them. The response can be positive or negative depending on the identity of a person. Every experience differs based on race, gender, sexual orientation, and or beliefs. A person's experience can be more intense than another's, but both must be acknowledged. My friend Anthony is a singer and rapper from Florence, South Carolina. I met him while living in Charleston. He uses his music as a tool to express his emotions and past experiences he dealt with, such as poverty and homelessness. When I asked him to be a part of the series, he asked if he can use his portraits as a visual aesthetic for his music about his experience in Nice, France. For him, this trip was his first experience outside of poverty. When he posted his photos from the series, there was one that stuck out to me called Rage. It was about a racial encounter he had during his trip. 
One night, Anthony was out looking to buy a lighter. Most of the stores were closed, but he came across a food vendor and approached three men. He asked in French if he can buy a lighter off of them, but his American accent gave him away. One of the men gave him a price, and they both agreed to do an exchange. Anthony showed him the money, and the man showed Anthony the lighter. Right before Anthony could get that lighter, the man pockets the money and starts to walk away with his two companions. Anthony tried pursuing the man, demanding his money back, but was held back by the two companions. The man screams back a racial slur and throws the lighter in Anthony's face. Anthony wanted to surrender to his rage in that moment, but he thought about where he was and who he was and was forced to swallow a hard truth that he could very well experience racism being in a foreign country. The Pigment series created a visual and artistic way for my subjects to bask in their existence. It also created an atmosphere for my artistic friends to release their creative essence. When creating a safe space, love, appreciation must be the foundation of the structure. The series gave my subjects a visual voice to express themselves in any way they see fit. What I hope to accomplish with this series is to expose a different perspective on shared spaces and how they impact us. I hope to expose that true essence is deeper than skin. Thank you.